हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग केस ऑफ ट्राई फोकल आई ऑयल तो कैट्रैक्ट इज अ रूटीन कैट्रैक्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी इम्प्लांटेड ट्राई फोकल आयल इन द अदर आई ऑफ द पेशेंट द सर्जरी टिल नाउ हैज बीन अन इवेंटफुल अ सॉफ्ट कैट्रैक्ट and now i am injecting visco elastic to fill the bag this is a zeiss plate haptic trifocal iol and i am implanting this iol in the bag just watch carefully each and every movement this is a replay the iol goes nicely in the bag do you find anything different here let's watch pushing of the trailing haptic in the bag do you find anything different i just did a opposite clear corneal incision to take care of the astigmatism and what the heck can you see this there is a posterior capsular rupture there and anterior hyoid appears intact so what will you do next now i don't have a spare three piece multifocal iol and other i already i have implanted the same iol and patient has great vision in the other eye well this is what i did I decided to wash out the visco elastic not to touch the iol at all because if I try to rotate this iol or do anything in the anterior chamber it's likely that the anterior hyoid may rupture and the PC rupture may extend so I just decided to wash out the visco passively without raising the anterior chamber pressure and close the surgery and this is one month post operatively as you can see the lens is well centered you can see the posterior capsular rupture but i will appear stable and patient has great vision how will you tackle this particular case differently and why did this happen So let's think why did this happen in this particular case The IOL design is a plate haptic design with 11 mm diameter and probably in this case the injector cartridge was deep inside the bag If you see the position of the cartridge here it is at the center and quite deep in the bag It is also probable that there might be less visco elastic inside the bag and anterior hyoid might have been already separated leaving the capsule little bit redundant so as the iol progressed it stretched this capsule and caused pc tear in the center so this was the most probable cause in this particular case so now how to prevent this one is plenty of use of ovd cohesive ovd can also be used and the posterior capsule is pushed back then the injector cartridge end is kept near the incision also you can see here that the injector cartridge should be near the incision so it gives space for the iol to unfold and doesn't drag the capsule with it also a larger ccc will be useful to avoid over push of the iol to get the trailing haptic in so this is the method to inject the plate haptic iol the cartridge is at the incision and then it the trailing haptic is pushed down in the bag probably this should prevent this particular complication and what is the future plan for this particular case 
If there is no visually significant decentration in future, I am not going to do anything because if it is in broke, don't fix it. In case of decentration, I will exchange the IOL with 3-piece multifocal IOL in the sulcus. Thank you.